I cannot wait to witness the poshest fans in the country. That's apparently the Fulham fans. I mean, can you see why it's so posh and why they get the name of the poshest fan base in the country, in the Premier League? I mean, it's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's right next to Chelsea, and most people know Chelsea as being a really posh side of London. This is the best you're going to get in South London. This is Fulham. It's the first time I've ever been here. First time I've ever experienced that, mate. You're right. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be an exciting day. Going to Craven Cottage for the first time. And let's go and see what it's all about here in posh, lovely Fulham. Um... Okay, so who are we with today? What is your name, sir? Carlos. Carlos. My name is Jordi. Jordi. Good to meet you guys. And um, you guys told me that you're from Barcelona and you're supporting Fulham. How come? So we spend one weekend per year so visiting the Premier League. So it's really nice to be here today. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, the, the rival is uh, Brighton, you know. So the Zerbi, the Zerbi quad. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the next year is the coach of Barcelona. Oh. That analyze, analyze the squad, but uh, it's important for the future of Football Club Barcelona. Okay, okay. But the Fulham, yeah, is a historic club, so it's amazing, amazing stay right? here. What do you guys think of today's game? Fulham versus Brighton. Fulham. Score prediction. Fulham, 2-0. 2-0? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, three. Three, yeah. Uh, one, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. Okay. one. Yeah, the Zerbi is a really good coach. Amigos, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you very, you very much. much. Thank you. Bye thank bye. you. But I bet you're asking me, Luke, why haven't you gone to Fulham when they're just 54 miles away from Brighton? Well, the fact is that it's so hard to get away tickets for this game today because it is so close. A load of the Brighton fans want to come and travel to Fulham because it isn't far away for them to travel. <laughs> Hey Charlie, we're back here again, mate. Yeah. But is it your first time at Craven Cottage or no? My first time at Craven there Cottage. It's, there a, it's a nice ground, to be fair. The exterior is really, really quite nice. Yeah, old, quirky. old school, unique. Yeah. So it's very, very nice. Don't yeah. know what the inside looks like yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. But no, we've got a few players back, haven't we? Lamptey, Veltman, Ferguson, and Danny Welbeck, who can play a little bit more as well. Are you feeling a little bit more confident than the Wolves game, or are you still just feeling a bit? up and down at the moment because it is isn't it Brighton their consistency is not not there is it yet I think it's I think it's difficult to to judge really I mean we've got obviously players back Lamptey, Welbeck, Ferguson as you mentioned they're, they're all important players of course which would be a big boost but I think we're still missing a load of key players yeah. you know and CISO obviously can't start yet which you mentioned in your Wolves vlog yes um, obviously Pedro still out now looking after the international mm. break so there's still a few key players out which will be difficult to deal with but there's a few to add to, add to the list that are coming back so it makes it a little bit easier yeah. to um, to fill the squad really but it's still going to be difficult what do you reckon today it's hard to predict isn't it we never do well here at Craven yeah. Cottage as well just for the facts but what do you reckon today I'm not I'm not overly confident again no. unfortunately no maybe just hoping for maybe a draw or something would yeah. you be alright with a draw I think I think if we can get a draw here and back it up with a win in Rome, that would be unbelievable. Be right. Right, Charlie, appreciate it, mate. Cheers, Pleasure mate. as always. Thank you very much. It is absolutely crazy how small this turnstile is. Like, look how small it is. It's so traditional. And like, look, my, my shoulders are literally hitting. But you know also what I find incredibly funny? A lot of these teams, right, say we're posh for having these padded seats in our ground, even in the away end. Well, this place, Craven Cottage, has its own cottage. Yes, full-size cottage in its ground. That's crazy, right? Okay, guys, we met some amazing, amazing fans here coming as a neutral into this game. And what team do you guys support? Show off your team. FC Dordrecht, Holland, Championship. Holland, there we go. So, guys, how come you guys have come over from Holland today to watch this game, Fulham versus Brighton? 
It's a, a really a, a, a amazing uh, stadium. Yeah. So every year we're going to have a visit um, a club in the in the Premier League wow. or a Championship. Yeah. It's really yeah, it's unique. impressive, unique. So uh, we we select, we select some uh, some weekends to uh, to visit them. Have you guys come to the Amex, the Brighton yet? No, guys not, come yet, Brighton. not yet. Yeah. Will you go to Brighton? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. that'll be it's on the bucket list. On the, on the bucket list. We yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah. We love that. Right, guys, I just want to now hear your score okay. predictions for today. We're going to go around to all of you guys. 2 1 Fulham. 2 1 Fulham. 4 4. 4 4. Draw. Okay. What do you reckon? 2 1 Fulham. 2 1 Fulham. 2 2. 2 2. 2 1. 3 1. 3 1. 2 1 3 1. All right, all right, all right. We're going to go here. What do you reckon, my friend? I think uh, 1 1. 1 1 today, yeah. 2 1. One today, okay. And who's your favourite player from Fulham? <laughs> Feldman. <laughs> oh, he likes Feldman. He likes Feldman. Yeah, from Brighton. Yeah, from yeah. Brighton and Fulham. Uh, Bessie. Oh, Bessie. Good player. Bessie, 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 Bessie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. William. William, yeah. Uh, Gross. Gross. Love that. Love that. Bessie. Bessie. Oh, he's a Messi fan. We like that. We like that. Messi. Boys, appreciate you all coming yeah. on. Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. You have my scarf. Here. Oh, whoa! Hey, hey, appreciate that. Look at this. Absolute love much. from Holland. Love from oh, Holland. Wish you all Thank the best. you very much. Thank you. This has got to be one of the only stadiums in the world that actually has the away fans and the home fans together. Like, just take a look here. you got some Brighton fans, you got some Fulham fans. We're all together. Now, I have never seen this in my life, in my lifetime, and I don't think I ever will again. But it's interesting. It means you can have a chat with the Fulham fans about what you think about the game. What do you think? Boys, what do you reckon today? Big one. Really, we never do well here, so uh, can we get something? Tough usually. I reckon 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one today. 2-1 one today. It's got to be tough though, Fulham are doing pretty well at the moment, but yeah, yeah I think we can nick it. It would be good if we can, what do you reckon? I think it'll be a close game, could be anyone really, but I think 2-1 Brighton as well. Yeah? Yeah. You boys going to Rome? I'm not going to Rome, no, but I'm going to the home game, so. Oh, nice, nice. Should be well, fun. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we can get a result out of today against Fulham, it'll be cool. Appreciate you guys, thank, thank you. you for coming on See boys, you. thank you.
I'm worried for Italy. I am worried for Italy. Too much space, they're going. Too easy, isn't it? It's just too much space. Too easy. Too easy. Well, 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 half time. Sorry, mate. I don't know what to say right now. I'm mad. It's crazy, really. Oh, it's just started raining. As the second half starts, is that a sign for another bad half? I hope not. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, that's too easy. Boys, that's way too easy. Oh, my God. Wow. consistency on is our defence and today I, uh, this is even more disfigured than than the Wolves game we, we were more unsettled than we were in Wolves and I thought surely we would you know in, make an impact for today Roberto Deservey said he's going to change something but I didn't see any change I saw worse today which was really upsetting but I've got to talk about the players that did play well today. And personally, for me, I've got to say, you know, Jan Paul Van Hecker coming forward, he brings the ball forward like, all the time. And that's something we struggle with at times. We just don't, we don't force the ball forward. We're just a little bit scared. We, we don't trust enough in our strikers to get these goals. We don't shoot enough outside the box. There's multiple chances today where Evan Ferguson could have got in. There, was, there were sitters, to be honest with you, two sitters where Evan Ferguson should have scored. Lack of confidence. Yes, a lot of lack of confidence when it goes from the forwards and from the strikers and to be honest it, it's getting worse and worse every game the confidence levels are dipping and we just need an early goal really to be honest an early goal would be lovely because I think it would spark the players get them more confident and hopefully we can get on another good run I think we're just under a bad spell at the moment and we just uh, it's hard to say what to do only just Roberto really knows what goes on in training as well but anyway so uh, another huge player today Carlos Belieber, what a player he was today. Really impactful, coming forward, not scared, and yeah, he just went for it. He just went for it. So, fair play to him. That's crazy, man. Like, this is crazy. I just wanna, I just wanna take some time to say thank you, Joel Veltman. Um, honestly, we've had some amazing interactions on the channel. I remember the first time he came to me and said, ah, oh, I watch your channel. And it was the most amazing thing in my life. And 
I never actually thought I would actually get a, a match worn Joel Veltman shirt and I just want to say a massive thank you to Joel Veltman I also just want to say as well to to everyone at home that how nice you know some of these players can really be and how much they care about their fans and Joel Veltman is one of those players that really cares about the fans you're right boys thanks to Jen for Joel Veltman and um, hopefully I'll see you soon buddy um, but yes anyway guys uh, let's go back to Craven Cottage where I end this video Bosh. Um, but for the people that, uh, that are going to Rome, well look, enjoy it, enjoy the travel, enjoy the city. We will go and do what we can as a team and we will fight to see if we can get something from the game. A draw would be, to be honest, the best result. Anyways guys, look, we're going to leave it here. Craven Cottage for the first time, being a, good, being a good day really, to be honest with you, without talking about result. Please do subscribe, just send it in now buddy, don't worry. Uh, anyway guys, subscribe, like, turn the bell notifications on and we'll see you on the next one. It's been your boy Lucas Bryan and I'll see you in a bit. I heard man when a chat and chip. I come through like what's good, these weeks getting split. Man better breeze and sprint, it's long if I choose to bite down on these pricks. X is a Liverpool 4-4 four, four and it is, so make sure it's X that you run around the with. I'll make a big man turn to the kid. Shout out skull when I slap out wigs. Never see an X is bring your eyes closed, don't move past girls behind your eyelid. Bars and flows, check out their mixture. Told them man can't handle the fixture.